What's up, everybody? It is, it's uh, July 25th, 2021. We're in Big Bear. We're getting a little bit of weather. Um, and this is kind of cool because this is more like, kind of like, it feels kind of more like the storms that that hit us, you know, late fall, through winter, and early spring. That's what it feels like, but... Anyway, how you guys doing? Hope you all are doing great. Nice to see you. We're gonna go to the other side of town. We're over here. We just filled up the gas tank because we were completely empty. Filled it up at 7-Eleven. Um, the only 7-Eleven that you can get gas out in this town. So, uh, yeah. We have two 7-Elevens. So, <laughs> there you go. All right. I hope this doesn't get too boring, but you guys have like freaking 2,500 videos for me or something doing this stuff, so it's not me that needs to fix the camera, right? I just need to do the windshield wipers. There we go. So I'm hoping we see some lightning. We're going to take the North Shore. We're going to go straight across here and then turn right on Big Bear Boulevard and t uh, look at this guy. This guy's going to be a bottle. Oh, we're going to go. We're going to go. Alright, cool. We're good. How you guys doing? Hope everyone's doing well. We have that beautiful smell in town right now of fresh rain. Fresh rain. Uh, just... <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit tired. I'm a little bit tired. But here we go. Sorry about the windshield once again. It's a lot easier to record uh, the snow. It doesn't screw up the windshield. to cut right right there but then I remember taking North Shore. See how fast my memory is lapsed. Anywho. Here's our grocery stores and DIY and Vaughn Stater Brothers. Oh yeah. We live it big up here. Nobody's gonna break our stride. Nobody's ever gonna break our stride here. Something pretty cool. I'm going for a motorcycle ride with the, the Moose Lodge this next weekend. I'm excited about it. It's my first ride in like a group. I I ride very well on my Harley, but I don't ride with. I, I've never been in a group before. So the storm should be in that direction here on the wrong window. Put it in that direction. By the time we get out to 18 over there, it should be coming down pretty good. This side is, that's Big Bear Lake. And I'll show on the bright side. Oh, whoa, there we go. Whoa. Uh -huh. I, I got this. I was hanging out with some of my French friends yesterday. And, uh, well... Like, it was like the first time I sat down and like talked to somebody in so long, really. Like, uh, it was like nine o'clock out, out in front of one of their cafes. They own the Crepe Cafe up here and we were just talking, talking, talking. And uh, anyway, they were like asking me seriously, do we really sound like, like, ha ha and this and that? And I was like, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Like, but yeah, they totally asked me that and I felt so bad because you know what? <clears throat> I think it's great to make fun of ourselves and just laugh, laugh at ourselves. I couldn't get through the day if I didn't make fun of myself or something. But guys, it started to come down pretty good. The rain, just think in a couple months, you guys, or like nine, you know what? There's a chance. I mean, look, I'm, you know, 
So you're saying there's a chance, there is a chance that we could see snow um, in, uh, let's see here. I mean, it's a very remote chance. And I know people are gonna laugh at me, but there's a chance. If we get a storm that comes through from the north very early in the season, if we get something that happens in late September, um, there's definitely a much better chance of something in mid-October to around Halloween. I mean, it's it's a lot better chance than you think. When I lived in Denver, it's it snowed the the, the, the the two years that I was there on Halloween. I got sent to I got sent to boarding school because yeah, I used to I used to like to have fun and party and stuff like that. I was young, but I liked to you know smoke some of the greenery. And my parents didn't like that. And society didn't like it. So I don't know. I don't know if I was sent away to these places. To, uh, you never know. Keep up family image. I have no idea, man. Obviously, that's that's not a good image to, but you know, to pretend like you're doing something about it. I don't know. Thank God I got out of it. Out of the whole like hard alcohol and drug thing. <laughs> or hard drugs and alcohol. Yeah, look, it's really starting to come down. I'll shut up a little bit. A lot of it. We're on North Shore. Keep your eyes peeled for lightning, guys. It'll be much easier to see since this is nighttime. Okay, here we go. Man, I'm so tired. But anytime we get weather, I do this. So I'll shut up. drive out here where it's really open um, just a big open area and there's like there's so many different directions to to capture lightning so um, hopefully we'll see something
there's somebody coming up on my butt. This is crazy. Uh, two motors. Oh, no, I thought it was a motorcycle. Someone's coming up on my butt. I'm, I'm gonna let him pass. See, that's what you should do. Even me, the most confident person, I don't drive in heavy rain up here. The ice and snow is a lot easier for me. But these puddles are pulling and pushing the car. And that's not good. So we're coming up to. No, I'll catch up to this guy in front of me, and then he's not going to go any faster, so then I'm not going to feel like the wimp. <laughs> yes. This, I'll be like, God, yeah, guy. The guy behind me, I'll be like, dude, yeah, this guy in front of us, man. What a puss. Wouldn't even drive. All right. It's only pouring. No big deal. train horns in the same place where the exhaust usually is and the reason for that is there was nowhere to put the train horns and I was very just immediate gratification about that and needed the damn train horns so now I deal with this really loud muffler or lack thereof a muffler due to uh, train horns being there they were fun but it's getting a little bit too out of control. They were very expensive, that's why I haven't changed it out yet. Now, once again, sorry about the camera, you guys. I'm doing the best I can. This is really not the best conditions to be driving. But that's what I do. So I can't believe I'm complaining about it. That whole dark area over there, it's all bald. I was hoping we would see something over here. But early in the morning, we are supposed to get some good thunderstorms, just like we were supposed to get them tonight. I didn't see any thunder. I didn't see any thunder or hear any lightning. And, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up here to the top of Highway 18 and pull off at the very top and see if, if we can see anything down because the storms are usually out that direction, so we'll stay up there for a minute and check it out. We just passed the last chance to turn back into Big Bear. Big Bear area, that's Baldwin Lake, where you, we could have turned right, right there. So this is where the people on the backside, so when we refer to the backside, this is Highway 18 on the backside. This is how people get up here on the backside. Okay, so we're gonna pull up here to this like viewpoint. And hopefully we see something. Internal lights in here. There, there we go. That's uh, so much better. How the hell did I do that over there? Okay, so right over here, straight ahead. That's the desert out there. This is just a huge view of a huge open area. A huge 
huge area. This does her. Unfortunately, I don't think we're, we're gonna get any luck. It's, especially when we have cars coming. It's kinda hard to... Yeah. Well, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a little more action packed over here. Just make sure you guys watch your downhill speed. This is where you start going downhill to drive down the mountain. Let's get back into the rain. We're driving in the rain. Just driving in the rain. On a global missing your thing. Happy again. Alright, so this time we're gonna drive the front way through town. We're not gonna take North Shore because that was kind of I mean we got some rain, some some, some good rain. But this isn't anything too special. It's just cool to be able to make it. Oh my god, there's somebody behind us. What is going on here? I didn't see them at all. Oh. Well, they don't realize that it just poured. Well, I'm sure they do. <laughs> Never mind. They probably just dealt with it before, before we got it here. But we're going to turn into Baldwin. That's what we're doing here. Seriously, I'm really frustrated with how people are driving so fast right now. Usually it's me in this weather. I mean, come on. They're really making me look bad. These are my streets to drive fast. Come on, the streets. All right. So this is Baldwin. This whole area that I'm pointing to on the right, it's, it's just a huge open, just like prairie area. And uh, I don't know, it's probably couple square miles and when we get good snowstorms it, it turns into a lake because the water can't can't seep through that fast so it ends up turning into a lake for a while and these places over here in Baldwin become lakefront property for a few months of the year it's very beautiful over here when that happens be nice if they would just fill both these lakes up and keep them full I mean it, it's uh, apparently it seems like it wouldn't really be that hard to do but it's just politics involved like that's how ridiculous is that if you don't give me this we're gonna we're not gonna give you the lake level you're gonna have to you have to deal with what we do it's weird it's like a, I don't know. I watched something on YouTube about it, about the, the, like the relationship the town had with the water company, and then some issues happened when like a bigger water company moved it, or like something. I don't know, man. It, it was, yeah, it was just, yeah, politics, man. Politics. Politicking at its finest. So we have a very, just, I don't know. I wouldn't jump in Big Bear Lake when I live here. So that's, I, you know, it's not a lake that I'm, I'm proud of. <laughs> it's really not. I wish it was. It still, it can be. You know, we just need to like, I don't know. I don't know. There's ways they can do it. Shit, they created the salt and sea from nothing. <laughs> you know, like. Just pretty simple, just rerouting some waterways for a little bit. But obviously, that's not going to happen up here. However, there are things they can do. I think we have aquifers up here. So, there's. Uh, I know they have a water treatment plant up here. 
so we could clean all the all the wastewater and which that was a plan actually and then to to refill the lake like that type thing just just cleaning a bunch of water and something like that I'm I'm not too too bright when it comes to the engineer aspect of it and that's probably not even engineering at all but whatever you know what I'm saying and you guys are like no I have no idea what you're saying I'm so hungry because today I didn't eat much in my head I'm so it's okay Once again, you guys, this is what I do when we have weather. I enjoy it. It's like I get very OCD about things, and so like once I decided right when I first moved here that I was going to record every storm for myself. So when I get depressed, I would just watch the snow, some stuff like that. So, but I made the videos public right from the start. it was somewhat helpful to some people so that's great man it's great I know I only have close to 10,000 folks who like actually like subscribe to the channel close to it I didn't say I have 10,000 I'm close to it I guess that's just amazing to me it just blows my mind I mean yeah in the big scheme of things in all of humanity you know out of like 7-8 billion people 10,000, you know, yeah, it's a very small number. But I never ask anybody to subscribe on this channel or hit the like button or, or anything like that. You know, I do this as a passion. I enjoy it. And sometimes I feel like if you do things like that, then you can you can be held to obligation and, and uh, you know, just... Just having to do things you don't want to do because when you're asking other people to subscribe and, and, and do stuff like that they're you know they're, they're taking a risk of wasting their time <laughs> so uh, and that's I don't, know. I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to say I really am gonna try and shut up for like till we get out of Baldwin I'll try from right here I think about it, it's probably pretty odd. Oh shit, I talked. Damn it. Well, sorry about that. Well, here, here, let me just finish what I was saying. Um, you guys probably haven't seen much of this area near the road at nighttime up here without any snow on it, or the road without any snow on it, or any kind of snow salt or anything on the sides. Because usually we're doing these night drives with when we have snow. Right? Like, I don't remember the last time we did something like this. If you guys want some really nice custom made animal feeders, one of my friends, Mike, he lives up here. Um, I'm telling you guys, man, these, these things are they're, they're as nice as things that, I don't know, so that, that were in the house that I grew up in. I grew up in a really nice house and it just seems like stuff, 
or just work that would be in that type of a house, like a just a really big, well, not really big, but just just a very expensive home. He's a good dude. He deserves it, man. He deserves it. There's 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 some good people up here who do some good things, and if there's any way that I can help them out, you know, like I totally will. Because I'm trust me, I don't I don't want to get a bad rep. So I'm I'm not gonna pardon me. I'm not gonna refer you guys to like some some bull some bull yo. Whoa. So here's Highway 38, guys. You can either make a left here and go off the mountain in that direction. It's about 40 miles, and then you'll be or about 45 miles maybe, and then you'll be down the mountain. You go that way. If you go this way and stay on this road, you'll be down the mountain. If you stay on this road without taking 330, this will take you uh, maybe an hour and a half to get all the way down. If you take 330, an hour from here. At least the way I drive. But I'm driving like a complete chachi right now. Oh, why is he driving like that? Because you guys have made me a better person. So I'm driving better. Sons of Anarchy. Because I ride a Harley now, because I'm I'm super cool. I'm like I am, dude. I'm I'm better than everybody because I ride a Harley. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not. Um, yeah. But anyway, I, I just didn't like I I got really enthralled in the whole motorcycle club culture when I first started riding, and I still am big time. So I watched documentary after documentary on like <coughs> the Hell's Angels, the Mongols, the Pagans. The Vagos, the Sons of Satan, just, just all that, all of them, man. Um, the Outlaws, just, yeah, all of them. And I'm, I just, I just really love that, that brotherhood. And uh, after a few people that I, I actually ride with, said, said, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty enthralling. And so I checked it out and I watched the whole series couple I think like a like a season and a half worth of the seven seasons was a little corny I mean just I don't know but the rest of it man it was great I really I really enjoyed it I was I was surprised I did the same thing with that show 24 literally after I think it was done after like season nine or whatever the hell it was um I don't know why there was some controversy on why they ended early probably Kiefer Sutherland, Sutherland crying about something, but long story short, I decided to buy season one to check it out, and I planned it to wake up at like 6.30 in the morning on a Saturday, on, on one of my days off, and then just watch the whole season all day, because a couple people were like, they were saying that's what they did, so I thought, you, you know what, that's got to be a damn good TV show. And what the hell did I end up doing? I stayed at home and watched that whole season. It was amazing. It was a good show. What other shows have I enjoyed like that? Breaking Bad. Um, I mean, honestly, like I got so into the characters of Sons of Anarchy that I'm not really gonna be watching the Mayans, I don't think. I probably, see, that's what I said about Sons of Anarchy. I was like, dude, that's so lit. Like, it's just, it's so lame. It's 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 just like it's a I don't know. But what do I know? I've never been in a motorcycle club. I just see these documentaries and what the documentaries want to show you and what the motorcycle club wants to show you. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. But yeah, and then let's see what else. I think oh, Sopranos, I got into them like close to the time of 
the head guy actually dying shortly after the show was done, I think. I'm, I'm not sure, but it was late, and I ended up binge watching that. Um, yeah, nothing else, really. I mean, I don't, I'm not thinking of it right now. But if any of you have any, like, really killer shows that will just keep me, like, literally wanting to see what's happening next. I'm not talking, like, Days of Our Lives stuff, guys. Please. Please. Maybe, like, Nights of Our Lives. <laughs> just kidding. Um, something would be good. This guy's on my ass, man, and, and I'm just not having it. I'm going to cruise control the speed limit just to piss him off. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And the, the speed limit's being generous right now in, the, in these kind of, kind of conditions, so... It's starting to pick up again. The closer we get to, to my home. I wonder if this guy's going to try to pass me. If he does, I have my sirens on my car. I would not, guys, I would not do that. It's such a bust. Like, I have it for fun, for when we're off-roading and stuff like that. And even if I see other cars off-roading, or like, yeah, I, 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 will, not, I will not turn on the sirens because um, even though it's off-road like that, and I don't think it's, it's, it's illegal to have fun out there like that, I still think that's impersonating a police officer and I'm not even willing to take that risk. I, I mean, look, you guys are saying you're, you're a freaking fool, dude. You said you're not willing to take that risk, but you have the sirens in your car. What are you talking about, you dumbass? And you know what? I can appreciate that. All I'm saying is that I'm smart enough to not, to, to not, do, uh, to not use them when they are necessary. You know? Uh, one day I'll tell you guys a funny story about an actual cop car that I did drive and did pull someone over. Funny story. We'll get into that some other time. Some other time, some other place. Alright, you know what? I am hungry. Anyway, we're on Big Bear Boulevard, you guys. We're entering the Big Bear Lake area. This is the side of town where it just goes off, just blows up. I mean, with the amount of cars coming at us right now. Guys, this is the way this, okay. I love having the tourists up here because I was a tourist and I still kind of am. But I love having the tourists up here. It's, it's freaking awesome. Bunch of hot chicks come up here, it's great. It's fantastic. You guys spend money in our community. And it's, it's, there's actually a bunch of really cool people, period. Sorry about the chauvinist comment. I just, you know, I am a guy. Give me a break. But, uh, yeah, I do like this solitude like this. Today it was packed all day. Packed, packed, packed. Right now, this is nice. This is nice. We're going we're gonna to head home. We were going to go get some food somewhere, but I think I was going to try and figure something out at home. I wish I had some PB&J. That sounds good. Some fat peanut butter and jelly. Oh my gosh. I don't have peanut butter and jelly though, so that's a problem. I really don't have much. I'm just gonna shut off the video right now and then I'll go get some food. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate you guys putting up with me and just what I do. Take care. And uh, till next time, which should be tomorrow. Later.